Here's Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Senator, welcome and thank you. First off, what Thanks was your me. general takeaway from the exchange you were able to have with Dr. Fauci? Well, to my mind, what's most important is that this is very dangerous. I think most of the evidence now points towards that this pandemic that killed 5 million people around the world came from a lab in Wuhan. It came because they're doing experiments where they combine viruses and then they measure to see if they're more infective or more dangerous. Well, that was happening. The NIH has admitted it, but Dr. Fauci won't admit it because I think he feels then he'll have some sort of moral responsibility for the pandemic. So he adamantly refuses to. In fact, he changed the definition, and I questioned him on that. The NIH has a website. It used to say gain of function. They got rid of the words gain of function, and they've tried to define it such that even if something gains function, it's really not gain of function. It sounds like a lot of government doublespeak, but if he won't admit what went on in Wuhan, my fear is that this could happen again, not only from Wuhan, but we do some of this research in our country, and I think it really needs to be investigated. And it seems that the concern you were sharing with him is that he's not grasping that. And if he doesn't do that, that's the danger moving forward in case we could ever face this again. Here was your exchange, Senator. Listen. We're not going to get anywhere right. close to trying to prevent another lab leak of this dangerous sort of experiment. You won't admit well, that it's dangerous, and for that lack of judgment, I think it's time that you resign. You have said that I am unwilling to take any responsibility for the current pandemic. I have no responsibility for the current pandemic. He maintains that, uh, Senator, in saying that neither I nor Dr. Francis Collins, the director of the NIH, lied or misled about what we have done. He said it's molecularly impossible for those viruses that were worked on to turn into SARS-CoV-2. And that's a red herring because we don't allege that. None of the published experiments, none of the viruses that the Chinese have published are COVID-19, nor do we think they could have been mutated into COVID-19. We do think, though, that the technique of gain of function, of merging viruses, could have created COVID-19. In fact, in 2018, the Chinese applied for money and they said they were going to create a furin cleavage site, which is a special attachment for the cell for the virus. They were going to create one that looks identical to the one that's in COVID-19. So we know they've been doing this research. We know it's risky research. And the fact that he won't admit that means he really shouldn't be making decisions. Even a month ago in committee, he said he still trusts the Chinese and he still, still thinks we ought to fund things in Wuhan. There's still an open contract with Eco Health Alliance that runs through 2025. We're trying to stop it in an upcoming bill. But as we speak, there still is an open contract with Eco Health. But he doesn't get it. He hasn't learned anything from this and he doesn't want to take any responsibility. He's been the number one advocate for gain of function research. And now he asks as if, oh, it doesn't exist and we never did it. But they just changed the definition. They wiped it off of the website, sort of like flushing it down the memory hole. And you've written on foxnews.com your opinion piece on that. Just real quickly, before I move on to these mandates, just to be clear, are you, you're calling on Dr. Fauci to resign as you have in the past. Are you alleging then that he did indeed lie under oath? Absolutely, because when you take two viruses and you make it stronger, that's gain of function. Okay. When you take two viruses and you try to infect human cells and you find it's more infectious or more lethal, that's gain of function by anybody's common sense understanding of it. So what he's trying to do is redefine it. And he's, he's, he's using sort of smarmy, you know, word salad to try to get around the fact that it happened. But it's not just responsibility for the last pandemic. It's trying to prevent the next pandemic. Mm. If we don't understand how dangerous this research is, this could happen again. And I got that from your line of questioning. I want to move on to these vaccine mandates for businesses. Uh, the feds are now uh, setting a January 4th deadline. And if you don't meet that deadline and your employees do not get vaccinated, you'll have to provide testing once a week and then you'll be fined a penalty of nearly $14,000. Here's the RNC statement. They're suing over this mandate. Joe Biden failed to shut down the virus as he promised. He couldn't do his job, so now he wants you to lose yours. This mandate's yet another attack on frontline workers, first responders, small businesses, and the rights of American people. The RNC is suing the Biden administration over this unlawful vaccine mandate and will maintain every legal option to fight this authoritarian overreach. Your reaction to the mandates? You know, I think they're unlawful and unconstitutional. We need to take them to court, but people need to stand up and resist. What a disservice to our first responders, our doctors and our nurses who took care of people during this time. They were they had to show up for work when there was no vaccine. 
A lot of them got COVID, survived. They now have natural immunity. And Dr. Fauci and the rest of the people say, sorry, you're yesterday's trash. We're just going to throw you away and you're no longer going to have a job. It's the opposite of the respect we ought to be giving to those who are, you know, our first responders, our doctors, our nurses. But if they stand up and resist, who's got their back? I mean, it's, it's, they That's don't a problem. Really... It's a problem. It's tough. You know, the hope would be there'd be some alternatives of different health care clinics that would stand up for those who have natural immunity and those who want to have freedom of yeah. choice. Um, we'll see. It's a difficult decision, you know, if, it, if your job hangs in the balance. So I don't sort of wish this on anybody. Everybody's got to make their choice. But at the very least, we should stand up and sue legally and see if we can get a Supreme Court to say this is not American. This is not the American way. At a time when so many of these businesses are just getting back up on their feet uh, after the pandemic. Senator, I really appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Thank you.